Motion control isn't really anything new when it comes to gaming, but the Leap Motion could be one of the first devices to bring this type of interaction into your everyday computing experience. The Leap Motion controller, which is a tiny 3-inch unit that attaches to your computer via USB, is able to detect your gestures and movements from up to two feet above the controller. So this device is compatible with both Mac and Windows systems. And basically, after you plug it into your computer, you want to make sure that it's in a comfortable area where you would normally be interacting or sitting near your computer. Um, you know, this makes it e the easiest way to kind of make sure it picks up your gestures. And for a laptop, that's usually going to be right near the keyboard deck. But if you're using something a little bigger, like a desktop, it might be in front of the monitor. But basically, it will detect your gestures from up to two feet in the air and two feet out, and also two feet forward and backwards. So what we're looking at right now is the Airspace Home, which is where all of your apps from the Airspace App Store are going to be stored. Right now, we have Fruit Ninja installed. And playing Fruit Ninja with the Leap Motion is extremely intuitive because you can just make all the swiping motions naturally with your hands like you would on the, like in the game itself. And as you can see, the controller is extremely responsive. As I'm waving my hand around, you can clearly tell exactly where the pointer on the screen is. And it's really easy to slash a lot of fruit at once using the controller, because unlike a touch screen, you can actually see everything that's happening because your hand isn't really taking up any portion of the screen. So you're free to make as big gestures as you want. And it's, it's really, really cool for gaming. And of course, gaming is one of the first things that comes to mind when you think of a device like the Leap Motion. But it's also really great when it comes to education. There are a lot of education-focused apps, as I'll show you right now. So we're going to exit Fruit Ninja. And in this game, one thing about the apps that are compatible with the Leap Motion is that there aren't any preset gestures. Each app comes with its own unique set of directions and gestures that are built in. So when you open the app, you'll kind of have to pay attention because there's a little bit of a learning curve for each one. Um, so for instance, with Fruit Ninja, you perform actions by slashing and slicing. So even if you're in the menu and you want to you know, make a selection or something, you're going to have to slice it, just like in the game that you would play on your smartphone. But in other apps, there are different motions, as we'll show you right now. So one con when it comes to using apps for the Leap Motion is there isn't really a convenient way to exit the apps. I've been finding that it's much easier to just use the task manager and exit that way, because there it's not really, like certain apps will have clear cut X buttons or menus that you can use, but most of the time it's really hard to exit apps. But anyway, that could just be due to us being slightly less familiar with the device. These are kinks that are, you know, we're sure are gonna be worked out over time. Um, this thing launches on July 22nd. That's when it'll be commercially available in Best Buy stores. So let's take a look at the Frog Dissection app real quick. This is one of the better apps that are aimed towards education and science. It basically allows you to virtually dissect a frog. So as you can see, you can navigate around the menu using just hovering over the device. And if you want to make a selection, you simply hover over it and point forward as if you're pressing a button. So to select something from the menu over here, you just hover over it and it'll pick it up. And then you can, once you carry it over to the screen, you can use it on the frog. You can see right now it's being a little less responsive, but just give it a second and it usually works. So right now we have pins and we're going to pin the frog down to uh, the dissection table. And as you can see, you can make really deliberate movements. As you notice, I'm just using my finger to point at exactly the spot that I want to pin the frog down, and it works. And you can draw the areas of incision on the frog also by dragging the marker just like you would in real life if you were actually dragging something.
when you first install the software that comes with the Leap Motion, you're going to be greeted with this orientation that basically tells you how to use the device. And it shows you how you can manipulate objects, and it shows you exactly what the camera picks up when you're hovering your hand over it. So as you can see here, this shows you exactly how you can manipulate movement on the screen. So right now I'm waving my hand above the device and you can see the lights begin to swirl as I move my hands around in a circular motion. And I can also move these lights up or down or side to side as I'm using it. And this just basically gets you used to how the camera reacts to your movement. Now what's really cool is if you move your hand away, that tells the device that you're ready to move on to the next step. And once that happens, it's going to show you exactly what the camera picks up when, it's, uh, when your hand is over it. And it's really cool because it kind of shows you like a nice like skeletal view of your hands. And it kind of looks like you have robot hands. And it, it's really, it really kind of introduces you to like the cool geek factor of the device. So after you move your hand away, you have to wait a few minutes for the device to realize that you're done with that step. And once that happens, the screen will get dark. And now it shows you what it actually sees. So you move your hand over the device to tell it that you're ready to continue. And now you can actually see your fingers on the screen as the camera is seeing it. And you can see all of your fingertips here. And it, it picks up all 10 fingertips, so you can play around with that and notice how it's picking up your hands. And if we move our hands up and down and out, it still, it still knows that we're there. If we move back a little bit, you can see that it still knows that we're there. And then the last step shows you how you can interact and draw on screen using the device. And this is especially cool because you can use both hands and all 10 fingertips to draw things. So as you can see, we have this little light that we can drag across the screen. And we can, once again, use all 10 fingertips to kind of draw and make movements. And it's very basic, but it's, it's visually exciting when you're first starting to use the device. And it does kind of get used to exactly what you're going to be doing in apps. Because a lot of the gestures that are built into apps are very similar to what you'll see in the orientation. So right now, the App Store is relatively small. There are only about 75 apps. And those are split between Windows and Mac operating systems. Uh, but right now, we're seeing that some of them are a little more responsive than others. So for example, we have this AirBeats app, which lets you essentially play the drums using the device. So as you can see, as I mentioned before, each app comes with its own specific set of directions. So this right now is explaining to you how you can assign certain parts of the drum set to different areas that you can touch above the device. But as you can see, I'm just holding my hand still right now. And the pointer on the screen is a little shaky, even though we're not really moving that much. So cer certain apps are designed a little better than others. But overall, the device itself is very, very responsive. In some cases, we find it easier to just use the actual mouse when you're going through the menu. But so these are the instructions. This tells you how to use the app. And once that's all done, you can start kind of playing around with it. And you can see how, depending on where you move your hand, that'll tell the device which, which sound to make. It'll tell your computer which sound to make. So we have the snare drum at the bottom, the closed hi-hat up here. But as I said, the pointer on this app is a little shaky. It's a little jumpy. You can notice it's kind of jumping around the screen a little bit. But like we said, these apps are very new, and they're likely to be updated pretty often. So I'm sure the bugs will get uh, worked out in no time. So once again, this is a look at the Leap Motion controller. And um, it hits stores on July 22nd. And it'll also be available in Best Buy as well as Leap Motion's website.